Well, hello everybody. How are you? This is our little. Um, let me put my earphones in the right place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and um, we will. Uh, we're doing our. Uh, uh, what is it? Our we call it our our pop up show. We just pop up here and and do it. And uh, there are a couple of people already waiting to get in the uh, in the uh, show, so we will admit both of them. And uh, hello, Shecky, how are you? I'm good, Ben. How are you? I'm fine. And hello, Andrew, how are you? Wait a minute. Wait, I, I'm not getting audio out of you, Len. Let He's me... muted. Huh? How dare you mute me? Oh, I didn't mute you. I know. Admit Len and admit Steve Bender. Okay, we've got some of our uh, regular Monday got people here. Yeah. Um, Steve called me the other night because he saw that our Zoom was on and he wondered if I was doing a show or not. No, I wasn't. No, I know you weren't. I was trying to get into a recording. <laughs> How are you all? Well, if it isn't the usual cast of characters. Yeah, I haven't seen you all in a week. Yeah, we're all still alive. All still yeah. alive, yeah. yeah. I've, I've actually put this as a recurring meeting on my calendar. I enjoy <laughs> chatting so much. Really? So well, you know, I just did this once just for the hell of it, and then it went over so well, I decided I'd do it another week, and now I do it every week because I don't want to disappoint any of you. <laughs> and I, I, really, I really enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Um, how's everything in your part of the woods, Andrew? Yeah, I had a I had a rough week, but I'm doing all right. How'd you have a rough week? Was it my uh, my 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 big dog got sick, and I woke up and he was dead. Oh man! Oh boy! Yeah. How long I, have you had the How long have you had the dog? He's only he's only seven. He he developed. I I thought that someone had poisoned him because of the Ooh. symptoms, but. When we did we did the blood work and of course they came back after it was too late but uh, he developed this autoimmune blood anemia thing and oh. we took took him to the vet the vet gave him meds and he just never it, it made no effect wow. so i gotta tell you it's uh I've, I've had to put dogs down before which is a pretty traumatic experience but waking up to it and then having to deal with it it's far worse well, they say that losing a pet is maybe worse than losing a relative. Well, I got some relatives I would have preferred to have vanished. <laughs> <Yes>. Same. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, there's just something about, you know, and, and I had to kind of make it so that my wife would, that would be the first thing she saw when she came out of the bedroom and you had to take him to a crematorium and all that. It was just, it was. I, I know you have to go through all of it. Yeah, it was a traumatic, traumatic day. Yeah. But yeah. I'm recovering. Yeah. Uh, 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 one of the reasons I guess I don't have a pet now is because of my age and I'm figuring, hey, any pet's going to sit there looking at me going, you know, I'm going to be here long after you're gone. <laughs> you know, and I, uh, and, and I really, quite frankly, don't want to have to leave a pet behind because if, the pe if I would miss the pet if they died, they're going to miss me if I die, you know, because yeah. I'm very attached to the people, to their owners. Yeah, and you know, when you get a pet, you're making that deal. You know you're going to outlive it. So you know there's going to be an end day, but yeah. you hope that it's at the end of a normal lifespan. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, uh, I had to, I had, to, I had to put down the cat once, but but I did as I told him he wasn't as good as the dog. Yeah. So, uh, it's an old joke. It is. <laughs> I, I was, I was mm -hmm. listening to a to an old Red Fox, and laughed out loud story about the woman who goes to the doctor and yells at him because the hormone pills aren't doing what they're supposed to do. They're horrible. And he said, what do you mean? They're horrible. She's well, I'm growing hair on my chest now. And he goes, Oh my God, on your chest, how far down does it go? She's all the way to my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. You know, Alex, I, I still tell the joke that I don't know if you told it or Ken Gillette told it, the one about you didn't come here to hunt. Remember that one? Well, that's, the that's, that, that's, the, that's the bear joke, the famous yeah, love, bear joke. Which, any of you heard the bear joke? You've heard it, right, Shecky? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell it a short version because if you tell it in the long version, it becomes there are certain jokes like uh, 
uh, the aristocrats would be a good example of it, yeah. where <laughs> you can tell this really long, epic, long story. And Penn Jillette, when he would tell this story, made it epic. But basically, a guy's out hunting in the woods one day, and he sees this bear. So he pulls up his gun, and blam, he aims it right at the bear, and he misses. And the bear looks over at him, walks to over to him, grabs the rifle out of his hand, says, you're going to pay for this. And he turns him around and sticks his big, greasy bear dick in his ass. And, the, and he just screws the shit out of this guy. And now the guy is lying there bleeding from his ass, in pain, humiliated. And the bear says, don't ever do that again and throws the gun down on the, uh, on the, uh, on the ground. He throws the gun onto the ground and starts walking away. And the guy is thinking to himself, I can't miss twice. I'm going to get this son of a bitch. So he crawls over to the pulls himself up on his two feet, aims the gun at the bear, blam, shoots at the bear, misses. The bear now turns around, he's a little, little more agitated and he turns around and he walks over to the guy and he grabs the gun out of his hand and he says, okay, this time you're really gonna get it and sticks his big greasy bear dick in the guy's mouth and then when he's through with the mouth, he shoves it in the guy's ass. Fucks the <laughs> shit out of him. The guy is bloody and beaten and humiliated and feels terrible. And he uh, uh, takes the gun, throws it down on the ground and says, I warned you, I warned you. And the bear turns around and starts walking away. And the guy is thinking, this bear has just absolutely humiliated me, defiled me. I am in extreme pain, but he's not going to get away with it. And he just gets himself up on his feet, grabs the shotgun, and aims it again directly at the bear. And guess what? He misses. <laughs> the bear turns around and he walks over. And he takes the guy and he throws the gun to the ground. He beats him around a little bit, makes him blow him with his big greasy bear dick, shoves the bear dick in the guy's ass, fucks him for what has to be a half hour till there's just blood gushing out of his butt. And the guy, you know, this is, show is not going to be monetized, by the way. Um, <laughs> shoves. Uh, uh, it, it is finished with a guy, throws him to the ground completely, throws the gun to the ground and says, don't ever do that again. And he turns around and he starts walking away. And the guy, the guy says, four times the charm, gets himself up on his feet. He's humiliated, bleeding from his ass. His gums are hurting. He's in terrible shape. But he aims the gun at the guy and he, at the bear and he misses. Now the bear is really mad. And he turns around and he walks over to the guy. He picks him up with two hands, looks in his face with his pretty terrible bear breath and says, you know something? I don't think you came here to hunt. <laughs> And that's the short version. That's the short <laughs> version of the Over bear. Over the years, dance. I've heard it so many times, but it still works. I it's, love that. It's a, it's a classic. There's it a is. there's there's a bunch like that where the punchline's actually worth it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, there's there's the classic Aristocrats, which yep. is a movie about, which Ben made a movie about, which is a story that if I gave if I went to ten comedians and I said, "Tell me the Aristocrats joke," because they all know the Aristocrats. Yep. Every one of them will have a different way of telling it. Of course. It, it almost becomes an opera, you know. Uh, Gilbert's, Gilbert's version is, I think, takes the cake. Gilbert probably does the ultimate version, although Penn does a very good version. 
Yeah. Yeah. The other uh, I And I think part of it is also Gilbert Gottfried's delivery. Of, it. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Yeah. If people don't know what I'm talking about. Just rent a movie called The Aristocrats, and it's about 20 people telling the same joke over and over again. But each time, it has a different way of being told. Right. They each had their own rendition of it. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everyone. What? Hello, I'm Marjorie. Yeah, what are you doing? What is that? Is that uh, bliss text? Bliss text. She's my addicted child. to bliss text. That's in case people just joined us. That's my ever-loving wife there. Well, wait a minute. Let me. Uh, Who seems to be taking a break from tennis? Huh? Well, the, it's only day one. Okay. And and the good match isn't until tonight. But as the week starts going on. And what's nice about ESPN, mm -hmm. if you don't want to stay up and watch it at night, you can watch the replay the next day. Or you can even watch it next year. <laughs> no. Yeah. Too, too many. That's too long. Uh, Unless it was an incredible oh, match. Oh, so it's, it, it is going on, right? It just started today. It was day one. Day one. It, it, did you watch any of it? Yes, from the office. How exciting is it without... Well, you know, they did what they did in baseball. Some of the seats had, you know, faces on it. <laughs> had pictures. I guess the, the people that have the yearly memberships. And the adult bookstores have no more inflatable dolls left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you're right. There's a run on inflatable dolls. Uh, it's amazing the expression on the crowd's faces. Well, I mean... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I never, I never understood how why anybody would buy one of those inflatable dolls. No clue, huh? For my for my fortieth birthday, I think somebody bought me an inflatable sheep. It was called a fuck. It was called a fuck you E W E. So how was it, Len? It was. It was actually really good. <laughs> I blew it up and put it, we were in Catalina on vacation. I blew it up and put it on, on the uh, balcony out there and just waited for people to react to it. Oh, by the way, if anybody wants to call us and join us, uh, all you have to do is go to gabnet.net and uh, over on the right-hand side of the page, there's a Zoom link. And the big thing is that we're doing a Zoom program. Click here and go to Zoom. And that will just, you can just, uh, you don't even have to have Zoom on your computer. It just does. That's right. For you. So um, I just thought I'd mention that for people out there who are watching and go, gee, I, I really should call, you know. And this is a nice crowd. This, this is why I do the show on, uh, on Monday there. It's a nice. I agree. You know? well, all but the bear porn. All but... <laughs> Well, I mean, the bear joke is a classic. I don't see how they could demonetize me here on on uh, YouTube because I told the bear joke. But the other the other bear joke, a bear, you know, in the woods doing what bears have to do. Everyone says, "Does a bear do that in the woods?" Trying to <laughs> avoid the word. In the woods. Yeah, well, there's a bear doing it, and he looks down, and there's a rabbit doing the same thing. So the bear says, "Well, how the heck do, does that not stick to your fur?" The rabbit says, "It never does." So the bear wipes with him. Right. The bear what? Wipes with him. Grabs the rabbit and wipes. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, wow! Yeah. Well, has it gone down to this? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's come, it's come down to Everybody, this. tell your best dirty joke. <laughs> no, no, you have to clean them up. You got to pretend you're on the Johnny Carson show. I'll tell you, I've known Shecky. How many years, Shecky? Thirty uh, five eight, years. Forty-two. Forty-two years. I think it's time we end our. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think it's time we end our friendship. Uh, you guys have a break. So I was. Well, I, uh, I we we've known each other. God, was, I didn't know it was forty two. But if you say it's forty two, I'm maybe seventy nine. So maybe forty one. Maybe forty. Forty one. That makes it easier, Shecky. Forty one. You, you know, went to California in eighty, didn't you? Well, you certainly lasted any longer than any of my wives. <laughs> I have to spend every day with you. Well, that's true. That's true. 
But when I was living in California, we talked once a week. Every Did day you? on Saturday, and I would call you, what, about about noon or something like that, or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, my time? Yeah. Yeah. And then we would I have talk. a friend that I call every day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, it's been her, been her COVID friend. They started this thing once. Uh, they don't know when Zoom. Jack died. When Jack died, January first. No, oh, okay. But she, uh, uh, they use uh, what do you call it? Uh, face, so, uh, face, uh, uh, FaceTime. Uh, FaceTime. Yeah, they're the last two people in the world using <laughs> FaceTime. Nothing. You know, you could do a group on FaceTime. I just learned how to do it. Yeah, you can do a group on FaceTime. They now Facebook has uh, Facebook uh, groups. Do they? But they can't. Yeah. They, none of them are keeping up with um, uh, with, Zoom. Uh, with with Zoom. Because Zoom, I can put twenty people on a panel, okay, and then I have another and panel with good. people with this four fourteen ninety five I pay a month. I can actually have a hundred people, okay. Whereas on on Facebook, you can have up to nine. <laughs> you know, well, that's certainly going to go over well. And then uh, I think Skype now you can do a whole bunch and it just, it, it, it changes. Uh, this, who's destroyer of destinies? I would think this is probably Brian. Yeah. Neary. I would think. Uh, let me see. Destroyer no, of look who that oh, is. Oh. It's Albert, ladies and gentlemen. Why not? Uh, look at that hair. Why not? Looks great. How about that? Huh? I love it. I'm gonna look like Riff Raff in another couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if people don't know, this is uh, this is Albert Reynoso, who was my producer at uh, Sirius XM. I remember yes. Albert. Let me add, uh, and I hope none of my older producers are listening. The best producer I ever had in my life. Well, fuck them if they're listening. They should have been better than me. That's all. It should have been funny. <laughs> but you were, you, he, he, he was the best. He was you were the best. best. And I wasn't even trying. Yeah. Think about that. You could have been better. I might still have my job, but. Well, I know that. <laughs> yeah, I know that. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, they fired both of us. You know, this was like a, uh, this was like when the Viking died and his slave had to die with him. Yeah. That was the Viking that was in the Egyptian. Viking. No, no. It was a, I saw the Viking moose show. And well, the, Egypt, when, they, they when the king died, died when the, when the, the no, Egypt, they buried the serfs with the um, yeah. pharaoh. Yeah. Oh, well, that was the a, a, yeah. Oh, yes. That, well, that was way before what you're talking about. Well, anyway, they buried the uh, they buried the surf. The with, Vikings. With the, with the Vikings. Well, you two getting fired was was horrible because it ruined my morning because it's all about me. It, 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 it wasn't wasn't fun for us either. Uh, that, that, that's not important. Yeah, well, that's yeah. not my day. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't it wasn't fun. Um, but um, uh, I, um, you know, it was uh, it was. Um, I, I never can figure out why they got rid of you too. It just never made sense. He was making too much money, like you were. Uh, that's <laughs> what it is. Yeah, he yeah. was making more money than any other producer in the building. Exactly. It was called Fafafui. Not well, not Fafafui, but uh, Fafafui went with That's Howard. a separate company within a company. Yeah. In fact, I think Fafafui is probably paid by Howard. I uh, think he is. Yeah. But anyway. so sorry to break up the the fun here. <laughs> Get on with what you were talking well, about. You didn't miss much. I told the bear joke. You know the bear joke. The bear well, joke? The bear joke. Oh, yeah. I don't know it. <laughs> The punchline is, I, I, I bet you didn't come here to hunt. Don't no, you? I don't know that joke. I told you the bear joke. Did you? Yes. We don't want to hear it again. No, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Go along. It's Forget it. it. Move along. Move along. <laughs> so, so there was this bear. Huh? We could drag it out for 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know. Yeah, I could tell. I, uh, do I have any? Show them your haircut, Alex. Oh, I, this is my brand new haircut. It's only about uh, 45 minutes old. Yeah. Oh. Jeez. Well, Uncle wow. Fester. What we did. No, How did that haircut? It, 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 hey, wait. Do you have a light bulb to put in your mouth? 
Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel like I want to clean something. <laughs> no, what I did, what I did is uh, I would go down the street to get my hair cut every, cut every like, six weeks. We're in a black And race. the guy would take out the clippers and go, mm -mm -mm -mm. it'll be this short, okay? Because my hair grows really fast. Oh, my uh, and then comes the, the coronavirus. And my hair was getting to be... Out there. Well, it, it's just that when it grows out, it's like, <laughs> ee, 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 you know, okay, I got electrocuted by a light bulb. So I wanted to get, uh, I, here, here comes Brian Neary. Uh, I wanted to be, uh, get a fresh haircut. So I uh, got a fresh haircut. Uh, so I went out and bought these clippers online, which I couldn't find on Amazon. They were not, or they weren't available or whatever. And, I, and somebody suggested, yeah, go over to eBay. And I went over to eBay, and they had them for the same price that Amazon was charging yeah. for. Yeah. So I ordered them, and they came. And then I went, okay, Marjorie, because she says, I'll cut your hair, because women <laughs> like to cut your hair. They all have that Delilah complex. <laughs> and I let her cut my hair. And, and by golly, it was as good as the guy down the street. You know. And he didn't tip me. <laughs> I've cut his hair three times and he hasn't tipped me. Not yeah, once. You, yeah. <laughs> Did you? I think I let it left a uh, chocolate on your on your. Uh, no, you he'll, didn't. No, you didn't. Nothing. He'll give you. He'll give you just a tip later. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're not, not getting monetized today, are we? <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's the case, let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you this. Uh, so anyway, how's everything down there with you, uh, 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 Albert? Because uh, the last time I talked to you, we had talked about the fact that your entire family had tested double positive <laughs> for the coronavirus. Did well, anybody... the individual who tested positive um, huh? tested positive four times. Four times? Four times. Who? And... Who? Linda? I'm not going to tell you who it is. Okay. He's a preserve the privacy of the individual. Of the individual, which I think it's not him. Because it you, well, you never know. Everybody's in good health. Everybody's in great health. But we went to get our final test about a week and a half ago. Yeah. And we said, we're going to go to the government testing site, which we've been going to and for the previous free. three times. Free. Right? It's free. Yeah. And then one of the large um, national drugstore chains had a free test as well at the time. Yeah. So we said, well, we'll go, we'll go to both of them on the same day. And um, the individual who had tested positive, tested negative in the, um, <laughs> when we got the test back the for the, place. For the, for the uh, national chain mm -hmm. and tested positive again at the First federal place. Wow. At the state, the state test site. So one positive, one negative test in the same day, maybe a half an hour apart. Well, I don't get it. I don't understand what's test. going on with any of well, that. Was it a similar one of those quick tests or up the nose test? It's up the nose. They were both up the nose, both up the nose tests. So, and you know, we got we the printout. I got one that was up the butt. I, well, that was a different test. Guess, Maybe that wasn't a test at all. By the way, I got I got tests tests for all look, tests for everybody. Brian, you get a test. You get a test. You get a test. <laughs> oh, stop being so testy. Wait a minute. Too much to do for a living because a lot of these people have, don't know. So we uh, test DNA for anthrax and infectious disease. So and you've been um, and you've been involved in the testing for COVID as well, right? From day one, yes. And so you have these little things, and what they do is they put whatever in there, and then that goes into a machine, right? Yes. It goes into the machine, and then it runs an assay. So there's a valve that moves liquids and dry chemicals around, and we try to multiply the DNA. So we actually split the DNA and try to glue back and forth millions of times to see if that's what we're detecting. Mm. And? Yeah. And? And? <laughs> and? <laughs> Any ants yet? And we all have anthrax. We all have <laughs> anthrax. I was never a fan this of one right, That poster right there is from July 2005. I've been here 16 years, and we're only doing anthrax for wow. uh, post office. So all the major hubs, 
they test for uh, anthrax after 9-11. We work with right. Northrop Grumman and we take air samples yeah, every half hour. So we that was number 1 million in 2005 and now we're up to like 15 or 17 million right now. So. Wow. Um, uh, uh, but Albert, now you're saying nobody in your family came down with it in spite of the fact you tested positive, right? Well, the one person, the reason we got, first, well, I got tested beforehand earlier because it was a free test, but one of the, one of the people in the family had um, kind of a mild flu symptoms or, uh, or a heavier cold <laughs> symptom somewhere in, in between there with the headache. Mm -hmm. um, and the sneezing and the thing like that, but no, yeah. no real heavy duty fever or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, so we said, okay, it's free. Let's go get tested. And that's what happened. That's how we found out. And now you've been tested four times and all four times you've come out positive. Somebody in the family has. He won't mention any names. How about, are there other people? Nice try though. Are there other people? <laughs> you told them at the q and meeting to keep it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm strictly Antifa. <laughs> I had an aunt, auntie named Fa. She was she was nice. I don't I don't know anything about how this how any of this works, where it's going, because it hit me and apparently it's still hitting me somewhere. Not me, I don't mean me personally. I mean my family. The family. So it, <laughs> it, 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 as as time goes on, I thought it would get more um, focused. But it's become more nebulous for me than it's become focused. It's strange. Yeah, but what I'm saying is people in your family, people not to be, there are three of you. So right. there's a one third chance it's you. <laughs> but that's right. Yes. <laughs> uh, by the way, if it, if it, if, if, if it wasn't the people that ha that ha the person that had the tested positive, the, the, the other two still may have antibodies for it. We don't even know. You don't know. No. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, uh, the point is, uh, so none of you have come down really ill with it. No, no. But I just Not heard yet. yesterday that my, my niece's uh, husband just tested positive, and he had the same thing. Well, you guys a, live in Florida. What do you expect? That place? No, no, no. He lives in he lives in Utah. Oh. He, well, but I just outed him, didn't I? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the show doesn't get to Utah anyways. I, you know, I don't care because I, the first thing I will say is I've had the, you know, I've had exposure to the thing. So either you can come near me or you can't. It's up to you. I'm still going to wear the mask and do whatever I have to do. Yeah. Well, just long, I'm just happy that none of you were uh, uh, ill and, you know, dying. No, it's going to be at least another year wearing the mask at the minimum. Yeah, I think so. I think Easily. so. And, and now, now there's reports that people get it a second time. Yes. No, but, <laughs> no, but that, the, the, what, the people who get it the second time didn't get the same strain. The guy in Hong Kong, the first the guy. The, the, it, 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 in other words, there's a... Um, hey, Andrew, I like your background there. I just got, a, I just got COVID. Very nice. Very <laughs> nice. By the way, you know, they do have some new, uh, they do have some new backgrounds here. <laughs> yes, I can't do this on my other machine. I can only do it on the PC. It won't it's just like it. Melania with the green dress. Huh? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Here's dress. Yeah. Here, here we go. Here we go. How's here's here's, here's oh, me that's listening cute. to the RMC. Ah, ah. That's cute. How's that? <laughs> Better yet. Wait a minute. That's good too. Here, here we go. Here's the actual RNC. <laughs> and, uh, let me what do I have it. to do to get one of these things? And here's the it's, on, it's on. Uh, it's on. Um, it's, it's a feature. Of, a feature this, of. This is uh, the post White House. White House. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, we oh, hope. Here we go. Here we go. I like this one. Well, that's well, a good one. Yeah. Well, we've all got backgrounds. It's a really. I don't. At home, my backgrounds work. And then we can do stuff like this. Oh wait a minute! I'll, here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh that's neat how did you do that what mine the mask yeah uh it's a filter they call it video filters is that a special <laughs> uh, a special program you have to use no, no it's in zoom it's part of zoom go to the you know how to do a virtual background yeah it didn't work for me i don't know why yeah if you go down to virtual background there's a second tab now that says video filters this is video filter. Yeah, it works. It works on my machine and on my PC. 
but it won't work on my uh, on my. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's very nice, Steve. <laughs> it has it has to do with the type of video card you have on your computer, whether it'll work or not. Really? Oh, okay. That's probably what it was. Yeah. yeah I, oddly enough, on my on my really good computer, it won't work because the uh, the the uh, uh, graphics cards are too hybrid for it. The what cards? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's <laughs> nice, Len. <laughs> what cards? You just go, you, you, go up, you go up where you see that shield that says you're using enhanced encryption or whatever. Just click on the shield. And then you go to uh, backgrounds. Who's he talking to? You. <laughs> <laughs> what shield? I have no idea. What's he talking about? The green, the green one with the checkbox. <laughs> and, uh, oh, hello. Welcome. There you go. There you go. But it's gradual. My virtual backgrounds are just pictures that I found that I thought were funny. I like yours. It looks like you're working. With the, with the conference room. I can't tell you how many people have seen it and said, God, I got to come visit you once COVID's over. And then I tell <laughs> them, don't get close to the window. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. But anyway, you know, it, 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 it's, it, it's fun, but that's about it. And, uh, that was my first virtual background, show people how much money I make. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, so let's let's go around the panel here. How you doing, Shetty? No COVID, right? You, you, oh, not that I know of. You haven't been, you haven't been tested, right? No, well, I can get tested on the turnpike for free, but I don't care. That's the right good attitude. The, That's the attitude. Right I'm on talking. the turnpike, I mean, like a lemonade stand. Or? No, you walk by that walk-in clinic, and there's a big sign saying "free COVID testing." Yeah, and there you and go. Ask the Chinese restaurant, take yeah. the take. <laughs> And it's a bear that's waiting for you. Know, so. <laughs> Shecky, do you have a back problem or something? No, I'm lying in bed. Oh, okay. He's always lying. You really lying. I go over to visit him. We go into his bedroom and he lies on the bed. Yeah, okay. He's I'm lying in bed. bed. I'm yeah, in bed. in the computer room and then sit in a chair. This is more yeah. comfortable. Okay. I agree. Shecky, I totally what's agree. What's interesting about Shecky, if I can tell the story, Shecky, is that he, he's living in he's he's in the same room right now that he grew up in, right? Yeah, true. You grew wow. up in that room. That was your bedroom. You didn't take the big bedroom. And then when his mother died, after his father was long gone, but after his mother died, you would have thought he would have moved into the big bedroom, the right? Big bedroom. No. That's where well, that was your room. That's my room. <laughs> he calls it my room. You know. No, I've first... explained to you. There's more noise in on the street on that side of the house. Yeah, right. But what I'm saying is you never moved out of the out of the room in which you grew up. So no. It had must have some it must there have was no need. It must have some kind of comfort to it. Right? No, no, I just have no need. There's no girlfriend living here, so I don't need a bigger room. Yeah. yeah. If there was I would move into the other room. Yeah. Plus if he moved in the big room, where would he keep the bear? <laughs> You never get to stop with the bear, are you? Again with the bear. <laughs> yeah, that's called a callback. And yeah. uh, Steve, you're downtown here in uh, New York City. You're down around Union Square, is it? Yep. Uh, and how is it down there? It's a little bit more normal. Every you know, every week seems a little bit more normal. So that civil garden is still there, right? Every yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Because but here in New York State, um, which three of us live in uh we are i would have to basically say oh hold on a second mark garner is going to join us uh um uh, it, it um hi mark how are you oh just peachy <laughs> <laughs> he's in florida too uh Albert. it's only monday he's in florida. <laughs> grand so we have two people in the in the big petri dish but here in new york state we <laughs> have gone three weeks without the infection rate going above one. Okay, one percent. We have been, and we are down somewhere around seven to five or something like that. The lowest, and there are only like over the last, over three days, I think the average was three deaths. Yes. I think there was two, three, and, and four. 
Um, there's, um, you know, the one thing that's actually nicer about the city now that I've been out walking around is how many blocks are just having really lovely outdoor dining. Dining, yeah. yes. You know, we went out to hear jazz the other night. There was a live jazz at a restaurant outside. It was you know, the most real I felt since this whole thing. It was amazing. Yeah. Wonderful how people have adapted. Yeah. You know, in, in whatever industry, but definitely the restaurant industry. Yeah. But it will all go away in October, November, right? When it gets cold, then what's going to happen? Yeah, but well, he's going to probably you're, you're open up the restaurants by then. Oh, he's not and opening the restaurants because he's an ass. <laughs> what? Who? The mayor. We're not talking about the mayor, the state. Yeah. No, it's up to the mayor. To open. Every restaurant is open in New York State except the five boroughs. Well, no, but that, no, Cuomo is the one that's preventing that. From yeah, it's Blasio. Well, he, the Blasio may be saying he's for that. But the fact was that Cuomo says that he hasn't they're seen. They're going by the science. They're going by the science. It, yeah. it, they're now saying that they would like restaurants to put in air purifiers with a certain filter in them that will, when it recirculates the air, will recirculate it without the COVID in it. They should do that with the schools, too. Yeah, but I mean, it's it. But the point is, the point I'm making is, with those kind of numbers, we barely don't have a problem here in New York State. I mean, we've all but wiped it out. Well, until the next tourist comes. There are only something like 125, 425 people in hospitals across the entire state with COVID. And that's, uh, we only have 300 hospitals, so that's a little more than one per hospital. You know, on and out. Until, until the second wave. Now, Mark, right? Yeah. Don't count your chickens. Mark Thorner, <laughs> along with uh, with um, um, Albert, is in a, in that giant petri dish known as Florida. Numbers yeah. are going down. Numbers are going down. Alex, come on. But the deaths have gone up, haven't they? Well, that's because uh, the deaths follow the numbers. The numbers yeah, went up. Okay. Now the numbers are going down. The deaths are going to go down. Yeah, but the numbers numbers will come back up, and the deaths will come back up, and we'll be on top again. We will reclaim the top spot. Well, we it's going to be interesting to see what happens in a couple of weeks after the White House uh, speech where they had 1,500 people sitting next to next to each other. Yeah. Neck and yeah. Neck. I never hoped for a group of people to get COVID more than that group. <laughs> Absolutely. Not yeah. nice. I mean, I don't like to wish it on anybody, but you know, if they went to that thing without wearing a mask, they deserve. And the chairs were like locked. Look at you, right Mark. You live in doesn't. Florida. Uh, do you go? Do you go out a lot, or do you stay home? Oh well, I'm fortunate, as I might have mentioned, that I can go out into the big Cypress Everglades. And wow. Social distancing has nothing on me. Okay. <laughs> Okay. You have a place to go. Yeah, but I have been back to work, and I got to tell you, um, it's like certain counties have a full mask thing going. Mm -hmm. Certain counties, I'm looking at you, Charlotte County, no masks. And it's like, are they fucking nuts or what? And there's this arrogance of people who don't wear the mask. It's kind of yeah. like, dare, like, I dare you. You know, it's like you know. My my feeling is that the wearing of a mask is not a health thing as much as it's a common courtesy to somebody else. Exactly. Like, when you're wearing the mask for somebody else, they're wearing the mask for you. For you. Um. No, no, I I agree. But to some of these other people, Doreen, there's you know, it, it's it's almost like oh, I have this card that lets me be nuts and not think correctly or something like that. But they've made it a political issue too. Right. That's the other problem. Yeah. The craziness is, I think, spreading more and more as the QAnon stuff gets bigger. We're importing that to Europe now. You've got 30,000 neo-Nazis marching in Berlin. I mean, <laughs> America's not welcome in Europe. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But I mean, uh, uh, I, just, I just don't understand why people don't wear masks. In my neighborhood, how, how is it down where you are, Steve? Are people, everybody wearing masks? Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Occasionally, here, you know, occasionally here, some, some, you know, college kids. Here in you know. Harlem, I would say it's... 60-40, I would say. 60-40, I'd say it's 60, a little 40. higher. 
I say, I say, up, I say was, 70 40. No, it was 70, an article. 30. There, was, <laughs> there, was, there was an article about parts of Manhattan and mask wearing where they stood and they counted and tabulated. And your neighborhood, you know, uptown was the worst. And it was the males, it was less than 50%. Yeah. I work in Midtown and everybody's mask. What few people right. are there? They're all messed. It's funny because everybody's going to work in shorts, in jeans. Well, my neighborhood, is, as you know, is, is, is my neighborhood is basically has been traditionally a black neighborhood over the years. No, it was it Jewish. Was, it was Jewish before. Well, black. I know, but it, but it's Harlem. It's black. Okay. Now. And and now. Uh, I just I I saw somebody one day walking down the street wearing a Black Lives Matter T-shirt but no mask. And I said, Boy, that, that, that makes no sense at all. You know, Black mm -hmm. Lives Matter, you, you believe on it, in it on every level. And uh, they, they I mean, it, it, it sounds horrible, but that's what the article said. They said black men are the least likely to wear a mask in Manhattan. It's a, I don't know if it's a macho thing or what it, what it is. I don't know. I'm, I, I heard somewhere they had the feelings people thought they were going to rob them or something or you know maybe well everybody looks like a robber it. now huh everybody looks like a robber <laughs> yeah well i actually i like the mask i put a, a picture of me with a mask on and dark glasses on my on my facebook page and i look about oh i don't know 40 years younger <laughs> and where are you going now alex you go out now uh, when did that start? Uh, I don't go. There's to one block to the supermarket. <laughs> well, if I go out, there's not a lot of places to go, and and for the most part, there have been unrelentingly hot days here. Now it's cool again, and I'm pro I really would like to go out and take a walk and you know get my sea legs going. But I'm so used to having stayed indoors that I I find it hard to get out of here. You know, your sea legs, huh? You're my sea legs. Yeah, but you know, also when you're out walking, you got to wear the mask, and the, the mask is uh, on a hot day makes is rather unbearable. That's all. The worst is going to a doctor because you have to wear it in the reception area, and you have to wear it when he examines you. Can I ask? Can I ask everybody a question? I'm looking for the information on this. You know, now that uh, COVID has struck close to home for me. I'm trying to find out, does anybody know what the ribbon is you wear for COVID? Is there a ribbon? Do we have a ribbon? A ribbon? Do my COVID people have a ribbon? <laughs> it's actually- Everybody else has a ribbon. I want a ribbon for COVID. It's, what it's, color? A, it's a thong. You, you gotta you start this yourself. Just start with people. Here's you your ribbon color. for COVID, right there. <laughs> yeah. I think light blue's already taken. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, but uh, I was looking for like some nice, interesting COVID masks. But... Oh my God. Every entrepreneur on every corner in New York is selling them. Well, you know? if, if, if you work for a company, they probably, you know, like if we worked at Sirius XM still, Albert, I bet they have Sirius XM face masks. And I bet they charge us too, even if we were employees. <laughs> yeah. You get the employee <laughs> discount. <laughs> any, any image you can upload, Alex, you can get printed on a mask on websites like Teespring and um, Vistaprint and all of them. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah no. I've seen I've seen some really really cool ones now. You can get a mask with this bot this half of your face on it, so yeah. it looks like your whole face. Yeah. And Alex, just think you could have an MCA good guys mask. <laughs> WMCA good guys mask. That would be. I'm going to do that. Hey Alex, I got free free uh, XM Sirius XM for my car for three months because I joined really? the class action class action action suit and and they lost. Oh really? Yeah. I what, wait a minute. They had a class action suit and lost. What was the class action? Suit? I don't know. I I was just sent a uh, you know you get a postcard. You've been named as part of the suit. Would mm -hmm. you like to join? I said sure. And I gave they gave me three months because they lost. Oh wow! Because yeah. I remember, I remember when we left Sirius XM. You're going to love this, folks. This is how cheesy that company is. Okay, uh, I, for some reason they never. I I think until recently they didn't cut out my uh, my service. I got I was kept getting it free for years. I didn't want to yeah. listen to them, but I was getting it free for years. Uh, they fired Albert. He signed the papers. He went down 
to the first floor to the lobby, and they had already turned off his service. Click. <laughs> wow. I'm one of those ones that Sirius hates. I signed up for the lifetime subscription the first year it existed. Yeah, and I, still, I still have it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well. Well, they don't give hey, even Disney didn't screw me like that. When I was with Disney, they gave, they gave you a free uh, pass to go into the park for a year. And even after I left Disney, my pass was still good till the end of the year. Mm. Oh, to go to like Orlando or to go, to go to the theme parks. Yeah. To, to see the doesn't do that. No. <laughs> yeah. but, you know, that's what we got, got for working for a great company. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? And then I started working for GabNet. Let me tell you the benefits there. <laughs> Unbelievable. The, the GabNet benefits are pretty damn good. Good boss, but horrible benefits. If you get sick, <laughs> I come out to your house with chicken soup. <laughs> Remember the green screen that you had? The green background that gave you a little office? Oh, yeah. It was so cute. Oh, you know, that was you no, know, that was the TV thing we did in the studio. That was, that was nice. We actually did a pretty good job with that. Yeah. That looks now good. everybody's got one. You all have one now. Look yeah. at that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's got the, the best, best the best is the green shirt. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> yep. I'm drowning. <laughs> and the and the green gloves. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, the green gloves. So, Shaggy, I was watching uh, TCM oh, and I go to TCM and they had this interview with Eva Marie Saint. Still living. Yeah, well, I, she was 88 when they did the interview years ago. Okay. So, I just I asked my Alexa, uh, how old is Eva Marie Saint? Thinking she's going to say, well, she died. Okay. No, she's 90. Six years old, something like that. Yeah, yeah, ninety-six. Wow. Uh, is she in a nursing home? No, no. no. no she lives in Manhattan or somewhere in the, maybe in Westchester. And she was married to the same guy all her life. Is he still alive? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. She's not living in your big room, Shecky. No, my first <laughs> film piece on Letterman included a clip of her from nineteen forty-eight. Oh, really? He was playing a secretary. It was called Behind Your Radio Dial. And she was playing a secretary who was answering the phones at NBC. Well, she did a lot of work before she actually made it to movie. She was oh, no, she was one of the golden age of television women. Yeah. Really? Agreed, yes. Oh, little live studio ones and, you know, all those shows. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but uh, uh, when you... Uh, you say that was one of your first clips. So was she a guest on the show? And you no, it was it? part of a piece on how we put the show together. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh my God. And so we threw. I threw that in as a clip because I knew. And in fact, the bumper after that was, "Who is this person?" With a still of her from that film. Mm -hmm. And then it come, you know, in those days we had little quizzes before we had the real bumpers. So let's take some. By the way, does everybody know what does everybody know what 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 torrents are? Torrents, yeah. yeah. Uh, torrents are uh, you can go to sites that have torrent downloads, and you can download TV shows and movies and so on. Um, and now there's a problem, right, Shecky? That has happened out. There. Yes, they arrested a bunch of people in Europe. I forget the name of it. If you go to Gimme Piers, they explain it. It's called Spark. So a lot of places are not refreshing the torrents. Yeah. So, so New Mutants showed up today. Yeah. Not that I want it. Yeah. But uh, so a lot. If you, if you do subscribe to a torrent site, which I know Albert doesn't because he got busted once for it, right? Not me. What do you remember the time you got? <laughs> no, you got not they, me. They were, I, know, not I never Albert. even heard of it. The, the cable company wrote you and said uh, you've been downloading uh, 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 blah blah blah, and it may have been someone else in my household. COVID, <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't me. But that was years ago. That, I understand that kind of thing is illegal. It is illegal. Nobody, no, no, not me. It. Nobody should do it, right, Jack? And it does happen. Absolutely. You know why I did it originally is that I was getting such bad cable reception at my apartment. It, remember, remember how bad it was, Mark? Yeah, sure. 
No, because the there, was, the there, there was water in the lines in the basement, but I couldn't get the cable company to admit there was anything wrong. So I wanted to see my television shows without them glitching constantly. And I heard about torrents. So I started downloading the TV shows. I said, I'm paying for them anyway. You didn't do movies then. In those days, you just And we didn't don't do TV. movies now. Oh, so yeah. What happened with torrents? They're not, they don't exist anymore? No, they do. No, it's just a slowdown. Oh, a slowdown. Because, the, because. Like the, the major torrent people, the ones who will put a movie up that, you know, isn't even in a theater yet. They all got busted. Really? Mm -hmm. Not the guy who put up t Tenet. I know that. <laughs> well, it's like I said. <laughs> I heard. I couldn't have watched already. the worst what, movie. What did that open over the weekend? Came, yeah. out, came out Wednesday, I think. Yeah, but Tenet. And then, not in the United yeah, States. Who's in it? Who's in it? Who's in it? No, supposedly the Tenet Torrent is not for real. Who's What's in that? It? It's not for real. What do you mean, not for real? Supposedly, it's a phony torrent. Oh, it's not. I, I, I hear oh, 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 mister, I don't know how to uh, 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 Anybody heard of a this. VPN? Try using a VPN. No, somebody in his family told him. <laughs> yeah, the VPN works. <laughs> By the way, don't watch Bill and Ted's new movie. It's even dumber and worse than the originals. Well, I didn't yeah. watch the original. I didn't watch it through well, a did I. The worst, worst piece of shit I've seen in years. Really? You know what I did watch? Uh, the Ren and Stimpy movie. Ren and Stimpy. Oh, he made a movie? Joy Joy, the uh, documentary about Ren and oh. Stimpy and mm -hmm. how the whole thing became, the, I guess, the biggest TV cartoon of all time and how it got this, how it destroyed itself, how it imploded, literally. Um, because the... Um, the Ren and Stimpy bigger than the Simpsons. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, they were do they they were doing very well though. They were uh, yeah. four uh, four million. Doing very well, million. but I wouldn't call it the greatest. You know, it was well. It was when you go back and look at this documentary, you suddenly remember how good it was. I mean, it was just the most disgusting thing ever. I mean, put, put, pulling boogers out of. They showed one slow motion thing. They said they got away with. And there was this explosion of a person or whatever. And one of the things is his intestine flying through the air. And oh, if, you, if you freeze frame it, there's a turd coming out of his <laughs> intestine. <laughs> uh, it kept us all from peeing on the electric fence, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Anybody remember Ren and Stimpy? Anybody oh, here? Yeah. Ren and Stimpy? Oh, yeah. Remember it. I know people that worked on the series. I, up here, I have. I don't, I don't know if you can see it. It's that that one right there. That's a Ren and Stimpy pencil drawing by, uh, 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 what was his name? Uh, John something, Krasinski Vincent, or Vincent, something? Vincent Weller. And it oh. says, thanks for the support. And it's Ren and it's Stimpy. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So you knew people who worked on it, right, Mark? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Were they crazy? Okay. Yeah, well, that was the 90s in New York and MTV, well, MTV networks employed more animators than what were working anywhere else at the time. So yeah, I knew a bunch of the people, still know some of them that worked on it um, and a bunch of other shows because I was doing work, broadcast design work. So yeah, you know, but as the story came out recently, it was like, oh God, you know. Somebody has noise coming from somewhere. Hmm. Anyway. Um, and and every, uh, how are the fires out in California, Brian? Hey, you got to turn your mic on. They are, um, there's still some going, but the smoke's been much better. There hasn't been much smoke at all the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. Boy, it was smoky here. It was really bad here last week. Really? Yeah, I mean, like, into the the normal uh you know the normal uh, port parts per million is you know 30 40 50 we were at 300. <laughs> wow and you were you you're you're where again east of san francisco 50 miles livermore okay so you're livermore and neary is down around palo alto neary uh san jose right now i'm in sunnyvale at work 
So, yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, it, and of course, uh, Mark and uh, it's amazing how we have clusters of people from various places. Like uh, there are a bunch of us from New York on here today. Uh, there's uh, 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 but Andrew's the only one who's all by himself out there. You're in Ohio, right? Yeah, in Cleveland. Cleveland. How's the COVID doing there? It's okay. That's all right from here. <laughs> we we were the second uh, second worst county in in the state, but it's people people followed the rules. We had we had one of those governors who told Trump, "Screw you, we're doing it right." Really? Yeah. I, I I hate I hate to compliment a, Rep a Republican governor, but he actually did a really good job on the COVID thing. Wow. Yeah. Well, so did our governor. Yeah. Did a good job. He, what, what, quickly, anybody have any opinion about uh, the fact that uh, uh, our president is going to go out to Kenosha tomorrow in spite of the fact the governor and the mayor don't want him there? Oh, said, what a please shock. don't come out. The only, the only way he wins is by scaring people and That's making right. the riots bigger yeah. and bigger. Every That's time right. they arrest somebody, but here in Cleveland, out of the people they arrested in the bit of rioting that happened, they were all right-wing guys posing as Antifa. Well, that's it. They're coming in from other states. Yeah. That 17-year-old that killed the two people, he was from out of state. I just want to ask the president one question. Do you think that you got the lowest ratings ever for a political convention? Will that affect your re-election campaign? The ratings, <laughs> the ratings were terrible, weren't they? Yeah, but, but he's Mr. Ratings. I just want to ask him face-to-face. <laughs> Yeah, is the fact how, that how, you, did, how did the Democrats the lowest ratings ever going to affect your campaign and just watch them respond? How do the Democrats do? Better, a little, a bit, little better. better, but not much. Not, not, not much. much. Not much. I want them to call me a nasty woman. <laughs> this whole idea, you know, look like look at how shitty and fucked up the country is. So give me four more years of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, what I the best part is when he goes around saying that you know if you get Joe Biden, there's going to be rioting in the streets. <laughs> He's showing the riots that are now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're president, and there's rioting in the streets. Dear yeah, watch. Even yeah, worse. It's Obama's fault. Well, it's those even democratic worse. run cities, which are you know all of them. Exactly. All of the major cities. If, even worse, they were they were showing footage from Spain, some protesting riots in Spain. They found out. Wow. Yeah. Let, let, me, let, me, let me ask both Albert and Mark since they're in Florida. How do you think Florida's going to go this election year from what your experience is? I, well, come on, this is a trip. Wait a minute, Albert, you're down here now? Where? I can't say. The FBI, okay. <laughs> the FBI has put me in a nice place. He's in a He's, witness, witness location. Protection. What about the other two people in your house? On the Treasure Coast. What? I'm on the Treasure Coast. Uh, I'm on the Gulf Coast. Oh, okay. You're you're on the other side. So you're on the COVID coast, we call it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's why now you know why now you know why I go far away from people. You know. <laughs> you know. We thought we thought honestly, it was their choice. <laughs> honestly, it's amazing because down here, uh, they're they're gonna follow Trump. The 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 counties that are very red, they're gonna vote. You know, that's what they're going to go with. They'll come yeah. out and vote. Well, that's the thing. I live in the reddest county, believe it or They'll not. They'll come out. The red, the, they will come out. Yeah. It's the Democrats that don't come out. Yeah. Which, is, which is strange because this state has more registered Democrats than Republicans. Really? And yet the state consistently votes Republican. That's right. Republicans win all the time. I don't get it. It's interesting. It if you look at the last governor's election, though, in Florida, that a, a, a truly a progressive that ran came pretty darn close. Yeah. Except for some, some crap that happened right at the last minute. There's a chance. Well, let, let's hope. Let's hope that the that, that it changes this time. And I hope so. I, I was talking to a few of my my Republican friends that hate Trump, and they just to stick it in Trump's eye. They don't want to vote for Biden. They're going to vote for Kanye. Oh, you know, on, they put they he he put that out there to insult all the black people. So the Republicans are going to vote for Kanye, not the Democrats. And how many how many states is he on the uh, ballot? Still a lot. About three and a half. Yeah, I don't think there's many. Yeah, yeah. but they're that's <laughs> but they're, they're going to. 
They're, they're not going to vote Biden, but they're certainly not going to vote Trump, so they're going to pick someone to insult them with. He probably can't even get him to vote for it. But I would like to hey, listen. I just looked at the clock in a whole hour here. Uh, and and uh, I uh, oh wait a minute let me let me bring the one in here so I can say goodbye to. Uh, there's some kind of weird noise in here. I don't know what that is. But anyway, uh, uh, Len, you're back just in time for me to say goodbye to everybody. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, but I, uh... first of all, I want to say goodbye to Rick. Rick, always great having you here. You lo you love you love doing the show, don't you? Because it's a nice. Crowd. There are nice people here. Yeah, I agree. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, Andrew, always a pleasure. Steve, love having you here. Albert, don't ever call me again. <laughs> I tried not to. See, that way he'll call again. <laughs> no, it's great having you here, you know. I got so much to do. I could, I could just squeeze this in. You can just squeeze it. Yeah. yeah, all those things you got to do down in yeah. Florida. Well, you can't go to the pool, can you? No, I can go to the pool. You can go to the pool. Yeah. I don't care anymore. It's, I'm, I'm all about herd mentality now. Oh, I, I don't care it. about anything else but herd mentality. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Marjorie, my wife, yes. thank you. I'll see you. I'll talk to you in another week. See you in a few. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brian Neri, always nice talking to you. Mark, great having you here. Isn't it a nice bunch, Mark? It certainly is. And of course, Len, thank you so much. I appreciate you joining us. Good to uh, see you. Everybody give a big wave goodbye, and I'll say goodbye as well, because uh, <laughs> that's it for us from here. That's like our uh, little Monday get-together, which we like to call you know, The Brady Bunch thank from you hell. Thank all joining us, all right? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.